Who am I? I'm Miles. Miles Davis. I was a jazz man. I played jazz since I was very young, all the way through my whole life. I went to the best music school in the world, Juilliard, in New York, when I was 18. Made my first important album for Capitol Records when I was like 23. They called it Birth of the Cool. See, it was cool jazz. We kind of came after bebop, but we was cool. See, you know, I played with some great musicians and worked for 40 years. Man, I was there for it all, working Cool jazz, funk, fusion, even rap. But you know the best time? The best time was being in the studio with training those guys. We were there in 1959. It was for sessions that would change everything. We call them kind of blue. And, uh, well, that was the start. We took cool to a whole new level, up a mountain. Miles, Miles, what key we in, man? Miles, I'm gonna cool it down, way down. What do you think? Cool it off? You mean soften it? This tune is hot, man. Me and Trey ain't going hot. This is the blues, man. Guys, I worked with both these cats the last year. Just go straight ahead and let them do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Train, you and Cannonball can run hot. Me and Evans are gonna cool it off. Jimmy's right. The rest of you gotta stay straight. What about the rest? I'll tell you when we get there. What? It's the blues. Follow me, baby. <laughs> See, that was the beginning, the start of cool jazz. We were doing modal jazz. This cat, George Russell, a piano player, had been doing that like six years before we were. But I thought, if he could do that on a piano, why can't I on a trumpet? That was hot, that track. You mean cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was cool. Best one. Best one on today. Both sessions. This was even better than March. See, back in March of that year, we recorded a whole bunch of stuff that would get on kind of blue. But we came back like more than a month later, to put down the rest. That track we just did, keep it long. Long? Long how? Keep it long. Best stuff we ever did together. Maybe best stuff, period, for you and me. Yeah. All blues. It has a groove. Better than Round by Midnight? Mm -hmm. Don't let him chop it. I'll talk to Tio. Tio was Tio Macero, the producer. I did many, many sessions with him. Some of my best stuff, 1950s, 1960s. You gonna meet with him? Yeah, I'll talk to him soon. He's okay. Nice gentlemen. So, uh, we done? Yeah, man. This <laughs> session is in the books. <laughs> Do you think they get it? Who? 
The record company? <laughs> no, man, they, they never get shit. I mean, I mean, the people. They come see us, they'll get it. I don't know, man. It's all changing. How so? Everything. 60s are coming. That and everything else, too. Music, rock and roll. Kids are swinging on it. Hey, who was that boy who just died of? In a plane crash. Buddy. <laughs> Buddy Holly. And the others. Never seen them scream for us like they scream for him. And uh, Elvis, Little Richard, Chuck Berry. Think he's here to stay? Yeah. The 60s could change it. But you're right. A lot's going on. King. It's gonna get a lot worse before it get better. Alabama, Mississippi, mm. all over. Man, 60's gonna be way different. We will too. Music's gotta evolve. And TV, <laughs> you gonna be able to see music and hear it. <laughs> we, we gotta do TV. Radio, TV, it won't matter. The stage will still be the stage. New York will still be here. Yeah, but I'm telling you, the shit's changing. I hear you. Aren't you going in again soon to put your own stuff down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you. See, I hooked train up with my manager, a cat named Harold Levette. You know, so we wouldn't get ripped off. He took care of all my deals with Columbia, the clubs, everything. He hooked train up. Atlantic, yeah. Doing my next sessions in a few weeks. <laughs> um, I'm on my own thing. You know, see, I'm switching. I'm making the sax more the lead. You going in with the trumpet? <laughs> no, man. I, it's just me and piano and uh, bass and drum. Could be cool. I'm calling the sessions um, Giant Steps. In that you're taking giant steps. Kind of like miles ahead. <laughs> man to man, friend to friend, before you go in, you need to get off that shit. Hey, man. Bill back there, you had to miss some dates because of that shit. You too, man, remember? Yeah, I remember you missing a few years a while back, so, so don't tell me about that. That stuff killed Bird. I just don't want to see it get you the same way it got him. Or me. I can quit smack. It's a booze. Damn. Most of the guys, we had habits. We'd kick on and off. But it always comes back. Great stuff there, Miles. I mean, you guys really had it. I got a lot to work with. Yeah, me and the guys were thinking we should let the last one play. Play? How long? Let it play. Find the best spots and let it alone. Top dogs at Columbia won't like it. They're gonna tell me no one will ever spin it. See what you can do, okay? You got great stuff there, Miles. Seriously, the whole session, amazing. Yeah, Train was saying that this last one could be the one. Best one we've done. Absolutely. Tell you what, let me make a cut of it from the tapes. I'll take it upstairs, see what they have to say. Maybe they'll let it play outside too. Uncut, I mean. All right, man. Hey, thanks. 
Always a pleasure. Tell the fellas. Tio always had my back on every album since that one. Mr. Davis, good to see you again. Thank you. Mr. Coltrane, thank you for being part of the session. Sir. Well, we just heard the March 2nd material. Excellent. Everyone's very high on it. Not too high, I hope. We think this album will be huge. Your biggest yet. They're already talking about that first track. Um, so what? Is it? Right. About making that one an exclusive we send to jazz stations all over the country. You might have to send an edited version, of course. Sure. Gentlemen, our expectations are right at the top. So how'd today go? Just fine. Good. Good. Might even look to increase your guarantee based on overall sales of this album. And you, sir, were very disappointed that you chose to sign with Atlantic for your next album. It would have made you a fair offer at Columbia. It, well, I'm, I'm trying to do my own new thing over there as a band leader. Kind of trying to get away from that kind of group thing here. I see. Well, good luck. Mr. Coltrane, Mr. Davis. Did you see that guy right there? He's the reason I have Harold Levette as my manager. Mm -hmm. I was on Columbia Records for nearly my whole career. For over 20 years. That was good, everyone. I can feel it. Chambers! Man, you were following me, man. I felt you, baby. I still say you guys were cooling it off. You and Evans, aren't you feeling the heat, man? You guys are hot. We're trying a new thing here. It's cooking. Model jazz cannonball. Like Russell. We're contrasting you. I don't know. Whatever. Me and Train, we running hot. That was good, man, but you're sounding angry. You angry? No, maybe it's sounding angry because I'm trying so many things at one time. It's like I haven't sorted them out. All right. I ain't saying I ain't digging it, but I, I know. It's, it's like I got a whole bag of things that I'm trying to work through to get to one essential one, you see. And I'm not familiar with them enough to, to find one single line through them. So I play them all. And, and when I'm playing, it, it's like I can't stop. I mean, I want to stop, and, and I know I should stop, but I can't. You want to stop? Try pulling the motherfucker out of your mouth. <laughs> Train was one cool cat. And he was right. The smack didn't get him. All right. We doing it again. Soon. Always. I'll call you. Hey, Cannonball. That was fierce, son. Even if it was cool. An honor, sir. I will be in touch again. I might just be your lifelong bassist, but I'm also a friend. All right. You coming? Um, soon. Just give me a minute. You got it.
one time. One album. It would be the time with Dream, those guys making kind of blue. It was also the one that people liked the best until I died in 1991. Is that it? Can I go now? <laughs>